What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. So in today's video we have some important news about the dopamine jailbreak. A brand new update is available. So a brand new version was released by the developer. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass NDM and even remove SIMLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably are aware, dopamine jailbreak works on iOS 15.0 up to 15.4.1 on A12 and newer devices, including the M1 devices, which is pretty nice. Well today we got a new update, the version 1.1.5 which according to OPA334 this one contains minor PPLRW improvements, better address translation, prevent process crashes when passing an invalid physical address and remove some leftover debug logs in launch the hook from during the 1.1.3 development phase. So while it's not a huge update you should definitely go ahead and update right now. OPA also says in here quote anyways dopamine 1.1.5 is out with some very minor changes. I probably will not be working all too much on it for the coming months, so I wanted to just push the upstream commits since 1.1.4 into a release. So it looks like Dopamine Jailbreak is going to take a break from being updated for a while, but it should be stable now, at least better than it was before, and with these improvements it should be better than the version 1.1.4 anyways. Now if you're still having spin lock issues, according to OPA334 those are caused by tweaks and not by the jailbreak itself, which yeah, understandable. So that's basically it with the Dopamine Jailbreak update, if you don't know if a jailbreak is available for your device, do be sure to check out our jailbreak finder tool, which will be down below in the description and in the pinned comment. Is this one over here on our website, jailbreak finder? You select your device over here, for example, let's say iPad 9, and it will tell you exactly what jailbreaks are available for what iOS version, and of course, if there is a jailbreak in development or a kernel exploit and stuff like that. If you're interested in an iOS 16.0 up to 16.5 jailbreak for all devices, including the newer ones, definitely check out this page, the current status and ETA, which can contains basically everything that's going on in the community, releases and stuff like that, and what is being done with the new KFD exploit and whatever, so definitely check this one out over here, contains the whole timeline of the events, as well as the supported devices and stuff like that. This page should be enough to keep you updated with all the latest events. Anyways, that's basically it, thank you for watching, definitely get your dopamine jailbreak right now, again thank you for watching and peace out.